the team provides support and advice to businesses to enable them to comply with their legal requirements for food safety, health and safety, licensing and product safety. We also investigate a range of complaints from residents. All of a sudden, we were working from home. Living rooms, bedrooms, sheds, kitchens uh, suddenly became our offices. IT equipment had to be scrambled together, pets became our work colleagues, uh, but the commute got a whole lot easier. I've been really proud the way the team have adapted. We are a very small team and we've been supporting the food hub and registration services whilst continuing to provide a service to the public that is as near as business as usual that's been possible. The team have also found time to be deployed to support the council's wider aims of providing support um, to our more vulnerable residents. My team and I were quickly very busy helping to tackle complaints about noise and bonfires. Many people started decluttering their houses, lofts and garages. With the dump temporarily shut, some people decided to burn things they no longer needed, which can be very dangerous, so we helped make sure residents were disposing of rubbish safely. The Household Reuse and Recycling Centre, translated into English as the dump, was quote closed for a few months as part of the government lockdown. And unfortunately, a very small minority resorted to fly tipping, which had to be dealt with in order to protect the environment and our residents. And as you can imagine, investigating fly tipping whilst maintaining social distancing has been quite a challenge. But now things are pretty much back to normal and we're continuing to work with residents and businesses to ensure that they dispose of their waste in a safe and appropriate manner. We are also dealing with other work uh, that involves rats, mice, anything really, uh, including domestic pets with food businesses, which is totally not allowed. So we've been very busy protecting the people of Kingston and likewise all my colleagues have been out there also doing what they can to prevent the spread of coronavirus. But during this pandemic I've been leading on the council's response to the government legislation that requires certain businesses to close. We've produced guidance that we've sent out to over 2,000 food businesses with advice on how to operate still safely around COVID-19 but still comply with our food hygiene and safety laws. The Trading Standards team has been advising local businesses on how to make safe PPE. We've been working very closely with adult social care to either prevent hospital discharge or enable people to be discharged from hospital in a much faster way so as to enable to free up hospital beds. They have been liaising with comms to make sure that our residents and our businesses have the most up-to-date information about COVID-19 and the relevant scams. Since the uh, beginning of the outbreak, uh, no shops were ever open. But hey, it's business as usual uh, now, uh, with us checking on businesses to make sure that they comply with COVID-19 restriction regulations. As we move forward, this work is evolving into talking about how businesses can provide for social distancing once they reopen and we're doing this currently and we'll do that in the future as other business types are allowed to open by the government. As EH professionals we've had to adapt to a changing world but we are still here to serve and protect our public health. I cannot emphasise how incredibly grateful I am for the work they've done and continue to do in the face of this unprecedented situation.